dedicated in 1935, the world-famous Valley of Fire is the oldest Nevada state park. Its name is evident by the magnificent red rocks and sandstone formations that were shifting sand dunes since dinosaurs dominated the landscape 150 million years ago. So over the years, erosion from wind, but primarily water, has continued to shape the landscape into what we see today. Um, as I touched on, this is Aztec sandstone. That's considered the softest sandstone. So that's why we get so many strange, whimsical and carved out pockets and formations here in the park. Coming to work at the Valley of Fire, Chris Johnson's office is one of the most unique places on the planet. The undulating landscape is a stunning sensation. The vivid colors are electric and can seem to be ablaze. This recreational paradise is a destination for everyone, from hardcore hikers and campers to short-term shutterbugs. So the most popular activity is definitely gonna be hiking, camping, picnicking, um, and just enjoying the scenic vista points, enjoying the visitor center slash museum. And this park really attracts a wide, wide variety of people. Some of that probably due to the proximity to Las Vegas. You get a lot of people out here that might not normally go to a national park or a state park, so it kind of introduces them to that whole world. Um, and this has really become a internationally known park at this point. A large chunk of our visitors are actually from European countries, Asian countries, so we get a lot of people from abroad as well. Popular with Hollywood producers, this Silver State gem has graced the silver screen many times. And numerous filming projects here, and the professionals probably had the biggest impact on the park, if you will. Star Trek Generation, I believe that was 94, the one where, spoiler alert, Captain Kirk infamously dies, um, falls off the bridge. That was filmed in the Fire Canyon area. Transformers was filmed in the park. I believe there's some shots from Casino. And these days, numerous um, car shoots, fashion shoots. Many of the daily visitors make the short 58-mile drive from the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas to enjoy a different style of stunning visuals. Are you seeing it? Do you get the elephant? Is that his trunk? Yeah. Elephant Rock is one of the many popular locations in the park. The namesake pachyderm seems to be soaking up the sunshine in his craggy home. This is the Rainbow Vista overlook. We're looking down at what's commonly referred to as the White Domes area. Um, generally, that's considered the most scenic part of the park now to a lot of people, probably the most unique part of the park. As we can see, it's where you get all the multicolored formations, really stark contrast to what we see down on the valley floor. And the White Domes area was once inaccessible to many until a road was constructed in 1994. Providing an exceptional park experience for all ages to enjoy is a vital part of the Nevada State Park's mission. Valley of Fire's harsh setting means only hardy desert plant species survive, and the expected rattlesnakes, lizards, coyotes, and foxes dominate the animal population. But the most asked about Valley of Fire critter is, of course, the bighorn sheep. Yeah, a lot of people are shocked to hear there's any kind of wildlife at all out here and you know, what looks like this bare and incredibly harsh climate. I guess the most exciting for most people is gonna be the desert bighorn sheep. Pretty commonly asked question is, well, where do we see the sheep? Where are they at today? Where are they hiding? Short answer is you can see them all throughout the park. I mean, I've seen them down here where we stand. I've seen them on the west side of the park. They're generally more active at dawn, um, but still it's just kind of right place at the right time. You know, some people camp here for two weeks, don't see any. Some people drive straight through and see a big herd. For more information on the natural beauty that is the Valley of Fire, visit parks.nv.gov.